What is up? Another game with Carnivore in it. He is still playing his KF Soften battle group. Um, I just found this battle group so cool. I had to watch another one. Um, really cool, interesting um, idea for a battle group. Usually don't see this. KF does tend to have low damage but high speed. Um, so they often do attack a few more times than normal um, battle groups or more, uh, normal champions do because of that high speed, right? And if you soften the enemy champions, you're doing three extra three damage per hit. Now, like I was saying in that last game, uh, because it is a, a ratio type thing, so if you hit twice for, you know, uh, nine plus three, um, that's then, what is that, 12? Uh, that's then 24. Or if, if you hit, you know, once for 18, because you have a lot of damage, for example, if you're UD, uh, who's doing more damage? Well, you know, KF, so... Um, soften, really cool to, um, use, you know, in KF where you have a lot of quick champions that can often, you know, they double tap more often than, uh, a normal battle group, especially ranged champions. Ranged champions with, like, 5, 6 range and 7 speed, they don't have to move much to attack, right? So they can just move a little bit, double tap, move a little bit, double tap, because, um, they often have a very large, um, range that of, like, threat range, right? So, um... If you can uh, get them caught, for example, if you play Force Barrier or Stun, also a good example, you can stun them next turn, stun and soften this turn, right? And then the next turn just uh, um, double tap them. Now, it is a three turn cooldown, but it also does, uh, you know, last three turns. So you can use it for two of your turns, they will have that minus three, so you'll be doing three extra damage. Um, so. Yeah, that's that definitely makes this deck really cool. Makes the battle group really cool. Um, does it, well, duh. He has. How is he moving over the water like that? Without having oh, because he just moved into it, I guess. Okay. Well, he can't. He can't put a relic here because of the uh, is bonus. <coughs> I had to sneeze. Um. There's another soften. Here you go. Soften. Grant flight. That seems like a strange upgrade. Now there might not be better. But I'm not exactly sure. I mean, you have so many flying champions anyway. Why do you need Grant Flight? Maybe there's just nothing better. But again, soften here. Soften. So that's minus six. That's six extra damage that these guys will be doing already, right? So, so this, you think that this is a 10 damage champion, but when he uses soften, they, he does. He is a 16 damage range champ. So is this. And if he double taps, right? He'll be doing uh, 20. No, 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 no. 17 damage per hit. So, pretty nice. Like 34, something like that. Um, and then the strategy is also nice, just, you know, for the normal stuff with swap, pull. Just a very good um, battle master, also really nice, giving that extra damage. Um, this is an overall champion that you're going to want basically every KF battle group, I, I would assume. Swap is so good. Like, I, I play a, um, some champions just for the swap. But this also has pull and surge enemy and battle masters. Like hell yeah, not even that squishy with the 55, uh, 50 HP, 55 with the uh, war banner. Just stunned also gives minus defense. That's uh, another thing. Uh, 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 where's the AP again? A oh, rage potion. Okay, not the, uh, not action potion. Gotcha. This is about barbarians, though. Also kind of cool. Yeah, he... Oh, hmm. Confused, okay. So confused. Now it doesn't redu throw all... So this is not an upgrade, the evasive. That's why it does actually deal um, a bit less. It only dealt 9, it was? Yeah, 9 only. Instead of 13. Also just took 6 damage from his own uh, <laughs> electricity aura. Kind of a misplay there. Well, I mean, I miss he could have moved back, but it's also a bit meh. Anyway, so I'm guessing this Planeswalker is dead. This was a pretty bad play by Barney. Now, we can see that he's kind of new. I have seen him around, but I think this was a bad play because Planeswalker is dead. Unless there could be a... Um, one of them is dead no matter what, but there... Okay, no, this is a bad play then. He could have played a Wretched Deflection, but he didn't. So this is really just... There was no point in having... He, he hit once with the Planeswalker for 9 damage. <laughs> he hit once, and then he just lets his 85 Nora champion die. Look at this, double soften gonna go off. Look at that. 17 damage right now from this in, in the Spirit of Endurance. 17 from these characters as well. 
That's awesome. That's lovely. That's Is grounded, okay. That's 16 from the But why did the uh why did you do that? The heck? Why did he swap? There was no reason to swap there. Cause he he also forgot to get back into range of battle master, so he dealt two less damage. It was very strange that he did that. Oh the minus defense from the withering fern as well. Yeah, I don't know why he swapped. I don't understand. But that was definitely really cool. Yeah, and he's in the font over here as well. This is, oh my god, he's won this game so hard. It's insane. Brutality Barbarian. Wow, that's kind of cool. Seven speed. Why do we have seven speed? Berserker. Uh, so yeah, seven speed, 16 damage, and then he has Manic as well as Thirst for Battle and Impatient. So this champion, he's going to be rushing your face hardcore. And if he's doing anything else, he's dying, right? But yeah, Manic plus the uh, Impatient. This is... Usually you see this in dwarves because of the um, remembrance, but it's not a horrible chant and a horrible um, relic by itself, even without the extra HP. It's not 15 health, so that's meh. Oh ho ho, enraged grizzly. That's what you call a tank. Yeah, I was talking to KF, or not to KF, I was talking to um, Karmabor. I was telling him this is a really cool deck of his, but he's going to need a tank, right? If any of his, because um, he only has pretty, pretty squishy champions. Uh, he's okay, but he's not even that tanky. Look at this damage right here. 18 damage coming out. Like, that's UD level, but he has extra speed. UD level damage right coming out. Now, sadly, Soften does not work in relics, so it's kind of a... Um, kind of playing a lot of relics might be a good way to get to like counter the battle group with tiny. Ooh, naturalize. So that's just some damage, yeah. He didn't actually have to attack them with his uh, Fey Enchantress. So that was a bit, a bit of a misplay. He wasted 3 AP. Um, but yeah, Grizzly, good tank. I was telling him he needs a tank to uh, you know protect all of his high damage dealing range champs. And now he has one. Great, great Grizzly, really good. 71 Nora only. That's really cheap. But then has uh, you know Enrage, given, putting out at 17, or sorry, 20 damage. Plus Power Attack, he's at 26 damage if he Power Attacks while Enrage. Yeah, and he's at basically uh, 70 health. You rounded that up. 70 health, one defense. So almost 1 to 1 ratio. GG, well played.